Have you always heard that being a landlord is very stressful? Well, it's true. Watch until the end of this video to find out how you can reduce that stress level. Let's go. Hi, my name is Max Lu, a realtor in Niagara, Ontario. Today, I'm going to be talking about nine common mistakes that you should try to avoid as a landlord. These advice came from my personal experience, and I hope that they can be helpful to you. Number one, not properly screening tenants. Not thoroughly checking the background, credit, and employment of potential tenants can lead to property damage and late rent payments. And always ask for their reason of why they're moving out their current rental property and make sure you contact their landlord to verify that answer. And if you find any discrepancies in the screening process, please don't ignore them, inquire further to find out what is really going on. Number two, not setting clear expectations with tenants. Not clearly outlining the expectations and responsibilities with a tenant can lead to disputes and confusion. Therefore, it is very important to have a detailed lease. For example, if the tenant is agreeing to shovel snow or cut the grass, make sure you're putting that into the lease. Number three, not regularly inspecting the property. Regular inspections are a vital part of a landlord's job. Failing to do so can lead to issues with maintenance and repairs going unnoticed. Inspecting the property regularly can also help you build a relationship with your tenants because it shows that you care about their comfort and the condition of the house itself. Number four, not setting a fair rent. Not setting your property at a fair rent can lead to your property for being vacant for a long time. Renting a property is very similar to selling a property. If the price is right, then it's gonna make your selling process a lot easier. You should research thoroughly to find out what is the fair market rent for your property. And if you're having trouble doing this, hiring a realtor would be your best option. Number five, not being familiar with local laws and regulations. If you wanna be a landlord in Ontario, you need to be familiar with the Landlord Tenancies Act. If you are a landlord in Ontario, make sure you get yourself familiar with the Residential Tenancies Act. If you need to access various forms, the Ontario Landlord Tenant Board website has them. I'll put the links for these two in the description. As a landlord, it's very important to stay on top of new information and regulations. Number six, not having a plan for emergency situations. Not having a plan for emergency situations can lead to potential property damage and potential injury to your tenants. Always provide an alternative number to your tenants if they can't get a hold of you in an emergency situation. Always remember to give your tenants different types of numbers to call for different types of emergencies before they contact you. For instance, if your tenants tell you that they smell gas, Tell them to contact the gas company first. If there's a sewer backup in the middle of the night, call the number of a plumbing company that operates 24-7. Handling emergencies in this manner is the fastest approach. Mistake number seven, not keeping accurate records. Not keeping accurate records of rent payments, property inspections, and repairs can lead to disputes with the tenant and potential legal issues. Keeping detailed records of everything will also help you when you're filing for taxes or applying for mortgage. Number eight, not properly maintaining the property. Not keeping the property in good condition can lead to issues with safety, comfort, and the property's value. One of the biggest complaints that tenants have is landlord ignoring the issues that have been brought to their attention. If you ignore these issues, it might become a much bigger problem in the future and become very expensive to fix. Therefore, do not delay on repairs and make sure your house is properly maintained at all times. Number nine, not having sufficient insurance coverage. Not having sufficient insurance coverage can lead to financial loss if the property is damaged or the tenant is injured. Renter's insurance is also highly recommended because landlord's insurance only covers the building and not the tenant's personal belonging. It is relatively inexpensive and can provide a peace of mind to the tenants. Do you have any questions regarding property management? Comment below, let me know. Thank you for watching.